Hey, what's going on guys? It's Chum here and welcome back to episode 25 of our Pokemon Sun Nuzlocke. And today, you guys can see we are standing here in the middle of Po Town. And if you guys didn't watch the last episode, we're in probably the craziest place in the game. My favorite place. So make sure you go check out the previous episode so you know exactly how we got here. And without further ado, let's carry on and make our way uh, forward and onward to saving that wonderful little young goose that is owned by that wonderful little girl. Now, like I was saying, this is probably my favorite place in the entire game. Solely because it is just so cool and the atmosphere is so well done here. An unbelievable amount of um, detail is in this area and I think it's phenomenal. I think this, this place is absolute perfection. When I first got here in Pokemon Moon, I lost my mind. I was so excited. The place was beautiful. So much detail. It just, it, it like, the idea of a, a town run by Team Skull, you know, bro, like, you know, a rundown place in control by the bad guys, it really came to life with this area. So, I love Po Town. And I want to know what you guys think is your favorite area in the game. So that could be a specific route where you find your favorite Pokemon. It could be a specific forest or a Pacific, a, a Pacific, a specific meadow that you think is really cool. Or what, you know, whatever it is. And let me know what your favorite area in the game is because I'd love to hear what you guys think. And like I said, of course, this is definitely my favorite area in the game. I think it is a, such a well done place with an amazing atmosphere. Either way, we see a Salander is going to be our next opponent. So we send out Mudbra and we're going to just go for the Bulldoze. Because when you think about it, we have no reason not to. We get outsped, but that's fine. We tank those. Look at that. That's going to do 10 damage. Imagine if we had an Assault Vest. It would have done like 6. Oh my goodness, guys. Oh my goodness. Either way. We're good to go. Every single team Scott Grunt me fought so far has had one Pokemon. Kind of strange, but also I get that because you wouldn't want to be having like a billion Team Skull battles with everyone having three Pokemon. That wouldn't be a fun time. Now, I don't think there's anything in here apart from this guy sitting on the floor who doesn't want to battle me. He's just hanging out. He's just complaining about Horn Drill and Guillotine, which, yo, a guy in the battle tree tried to guillotine me the other day. I was not having any of it. I was so offended. I was like, can you, like, use legitimate tactics instead of trying to use, like, 30%? And if he had hit me, turn one guillotine... I would have lost my mind. Literally, it would have flown out the window and I would have been done for. Either way, that is not important. We have a wind pot here. Can we deal with this thing? I don't think there's any reason that we can't. So we'll stay in. I think we'll just go for a leaf, leaf, blah, a leaf. We don't even have leaf blade yet. Oh my goodness. Guys, our moveset is pretty, pretty bad right now. Sand attack. Please don't. Please don't be this stupid. Honestly, I wish I could have added our wind pod to our team. Because I, I love its evolution. I think Glitter Support is such a cool Pokemon. Uh, but the reason I didn't is, 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 of course, because it actually has the exact same typing as Araquanid. Uh, and we shouldn't really be doubling up on types. Because even even with what we have now, we still have some pretty severe common weaknesses. Uh, so we want to avoid that. Either way, another trainer with one Pokemon. What are you doing hanging out with that Grimer? Hey, it reminds me. Whatever happened to that guy who was always calling people numbskulls or whatever? I don't know which guy you're talking about. I'm pretty sure everyone calls you numbskulls. What's wrong with him? Doesn't he see that we're getting invaded here? Yo, I love these two people. I can't wait to see what he that uh, the guy on the other side. I can't wait to see what the guy on the other side says, because it's 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 hell funny. I can't remember exactly what he says, but I remember it's funny. Either way, we'll grab this uh, Zygarde cell. Talk to this guy, spooking from behind. I'm a straight shooter, straight and simple as an arrow. I feel that man. I feel that. I really do. Either way, we're gonna pop in here because there is an item to grab. Last episode at the end, I thought we were gonna grab this smoke ball, but really the smoke ball is right here. Which is good news for us, and I believe it's time we step inside the Shady House. Literally the house of the shadiest penguin in all the land. When I first got here and read it was a Shady House, my first reaction when I was playing Pokemon Moon was, Shady is going to lose his mind. And it's so cool, dude. I love it. I love it. Either way, it's not important right now. We're going through here. I'm hoping to clear out the Shady House on this entire, I guess, event within the, within this episode. So we're gonna we're not gonna be too slow. We're gonna try and power through it. And uh, luckily for me, I do know the trick here. Because if you guys don't know, you have to go through and get some passwords. And there's a little bit of a trick because you have to say no when he asks you if you're certain. But I do remember this. I, uh, I the first time it did actually trick me. I won't lie. It did it did trick me. But it's fine because we remember now. And I went back and I found the first poster. And I was like, oh hey, it says to say no. 
and we did all the good of good of. Zubat is gone, which is great for us. And our next Pokemon, our next opponent, is going to be, I don't know, but it's actually surprising enough that, oh shit, we can go for the Sucker Punch. Um, but it's surprising enough that these guys actually have multiple Pokemon now. Not very high level, but they still exist, and we're going to go for this, uh, the Sucker Punch. Mostly because I think this thing could potentially outspeed me, and I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sad the Sucker Punch is a one-shot against a, uh, a Ghastly, because this thing has, like, no physical defense. Mudbrug getting level 38, and maybe it's time we switch out someone else in the first place. I don't know about first place, but we're going to be switching in Mudbra right now. And I believe, if I'm not mistaken, uh, Cubone should be evolution level right now, but of course it hasn't evolved because it needs to evolve at nighttime, which I will do sometime very soon. But for now, we're going to go for the Bulldoze against this Salandit. And it's going to do Flame Burst. Will it do 10 or will it do less than 10? That one did damage. The other one only did 10, but that one put in the finest. Down goes to Salazzle. I think this guy has... No, this guy has no more Pokemon. He's done and dusted. There we go. Team Scott Grunt, give me all that money. I should be using an Amulet Coin Pokemon right now. But I'm not. Our uh, Rabombi was an Amulet Coin Pokemon from previous... From, uh... Previously, I guess. Just previously. Uh, we're gonna snap out here. S snap out. We're gonna step out here. Let's grab this Ice Stone. In case we ever get that Volpix, which we have, uh... I guess promised ourselves. Now, what are you gonna say? What's wrong with him? Why does he keep staring at me? Did you see how, how hot I am or something? Yeah, definitely. That's exactly what's happening. Uh, what's out here? Nothing? Yo. That's just a can. I thought I could grab it, which made no sense because it's not a Pokeball. You can only pick up Pokeballs in this game, guys. You don't see me. You don't see me. <gasps> you do see me. I'll stop you so Guzma will stay chill. I feel that. That's respectful. You know? Trying to keep her leader happy. I understand that need. At the same time, I need to destroy his soul. And uh, get a Pokemon back. So we're gonna go in. And no mercy. Another person with one Pokemon. But it's a Marini. And you know what Oliver has to say to Marini? Do you know what Oliver has to say? I want you, I want to give you guys a second to guess. He's gonna say, "Drum roll, please. Catch these arrows." I pressed those buttons on the touchscreen without even looking. They call me talented. I love this animation. I think this is probably my favorite one of those, uh, what do you call it? The starter Z moves. I think that this, one, this one's so cool. The the um, the wrestling one is alright, but I just don't like the wrestling thing. It's just way too weird. And then, um, uh, what? What? There's a word there. There's a word there. This guy, there's a word. I'm sorry. There's a word. Um, um, uh, Prime Arena. I always forget his name. Prime Arena Z move is so strange because it makes a giant bubble, which is cool. But the way it moves is so slow. At the same time, it literally uses a spirit bomb. So I can't complain. That is really cool. Either way, let's hop into these rooms. And let's find the posters with the answers. Now, there's one right here. We don't even have to read them because I know what they are. Um, but that's okay. We'll find them. We will discover all the secrets. All the answers. Anything in this room? Just an item. What's it going to be? A max revive. More like maximum useless. Because we can't use revives in this game. Can we talk to this man? I really want to talk to him. He looks like he's having fun. Just napping across like one on a tiny bit of a bed. Um, but I mean. Whatever he does in the, in those group of beds is, you know, all up to him. I don't get to judge him. So sorry. As a stranger, you get to f the full course of my Pokemon moves. Yo. Give me the full course. Does that count? Does that count dessert? Because defeating you will be my just desserts. That was, uh, that was... Politically incorrect? I don't even know. I don't think I used that phrase right, but it's okay. Haunter is here. Can we sucker punch a Haunter? And that is the question. How much more defensive is Haunter than, than Ghastly? Only one way to find out. Oh, wait. Ooh, confused me. Alright. We ain't playing games right now. Despite the fact that we are literally playing a game, we're going to switch out into a Raquinid who is carrying Crunch now. Uh, within its tiny little bubble head, it's, it's carrying Crunch. And it will destroy. Well, what are you going to go for, Haunter? Shadow Ball? I predicted no less. If only I was smart enough or I had a Bulletproof Pokemon, I could have gone for the Bulletproof prediction and taken zero damage. Shadow Ball is here again. We'll eat this up once again. Don't get the special defense drop, please. It's not very nice of you to do that. Crunch is here. Can we one-shot? Would you look at that? We can. We heal up Arachnid very quickly. And then we should be ready to carry on. We get to level 40. Do you want to learn? Never mind. I was going to say, do you want to learn? Uh, what's that move called? Leaf Blade. But no, sadly not. 
and one more trainer down in this episode. We're battling so many Team Skull members, but I'm not complaining. We're getting a good amount of experience. Let's uh, restore you with the mighty Super Potion. We have very, very few healing items right now. Whoa, okay. We gotta, we gotta make sure we play smart. We don't want to lose Pokemon. I, I, will, I will happily, I don't want to be mean about this, but I will happily sack off Pokemon that I do not need for the sake of the team, the four-man team we have right now. Um, this this is such a weird little like segment. Such a weird little segment, but I guess it's good because it, it kind of shows you from the main room there is that there is an area to go. So you see, look, it says, Remember, a true Team Skull member always butts heads and answers with a hearty no. It took me a while to figure that out. I, I mean, I, I gave it one attempt, and I went back and read all the posts again, and I found it, but I was like, damn. I did not realize that was actually important, even though it did say remember, as if though as if it was important. I was ignorant to that fact. Either way, there's no room over here, am I right? There is no room over here. I mean, apart from the one behind that chair. So we'll go upstairs to the second floor of Shady's house, and in this back room we will find... Drum roll, please. Oh, a TM. What's it gonna be? Sludge bomb? Sludge bomb. Get predicted. Not that I've made a video about it or anything like that. I wouldn't know, you know. Anyway, moving on. Into the next room. Is this going to be the room with the two girls who are fighting over... Oh, please let me out. OMG! Please don't tell me that's my t skull tank you're wearing. Uh, no wonder it stinks. It's the same design, though. It does not stink. It's a lovely aroma. Anyway, we should write our names on them so we don't mix them up. Uh, hello? Our names are all grunt? What's the point? I love how this one is so self-aware that she understands all the names of Grunt. Can you guys stop fighting and battle me, please? I've, I've had enough of your conversation. Do not battle... Do they really battle me one at a time? Do they really want to ruin my day with this slow-moving nonsense? I think they do. Which means Oliver has to return the favor and ruin their day. Rattata is here. Rattata. You have one Pokemon and you choose Rattata. Now, don't get me wrong. Alolan Rattata and the way that it stands up on two legs is so cool, but Razor Leaf says you must die. <gasps> Pro played! But it doesn't matter because Rattata is gone. What does it matter? Well, I'm honestly in a really bad position right now with so few potions. The first thing we do when we get out of here is to, is to get more potions. 100%. In fact, I might quickly leave and go to the go to the actual full heal place, like the um, the Pokemon Center. Are you guys done battling me? Please be done battling me. I'm not having fun battling you over and over and over again. It's not a fun time. So we see this girl also wants to fight me, which is really rude. I'm 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 their guest, and they have the audacity to to, to battle me. I mean, it kind of makes sense, but they have the audacity to force me to battle Ooh, Radicate. So she's leveled up. She, they may both be named Grunt, but one is better than the other, for certain. Now, we don't want to take an attack from you. We want to switch out to Mudbra. And we're going to go for the Z-move, because uh, why not? There's no reason not to. We take the Crunch. We eat it up. That would have done a lot of damage to us, not going to lie. Look, judging by how much it did to, to Mudbra, that would have done so much to Oliver. Either way, all that pummeling is here. We take another crunch, because Rat's spared, of course. We're not very fast. That thing kills us with one more crunch because of that D drop. That's kind of crazy. Either way. I, I, I still love how disinterested Mudbra is when we start using a Z move. It's like his eyes are hard. He's like, I don't even care, man. Just, just get it over and done with already, please. So funny. Catch these hands and the occasional feet and... Mudbra using the Z-move is unreal. The way that he kind of like leans back and just goes in, absolutely phenomenal. Just beautiful. Either way, Fish grows level 39, and Team Skull Grunt is defeated up here. And I definitely think we need to go heal up for that, that 10 bucks, because it, it's so worth it. But we'll clear out the rest of the floor. You guys done here? Please. Please. Thank you. Thank you very much. And there's one last room, I believe. That guy looks like he wants to battle me. We'll go take him on first. Okay. At the speed of light, we run past and you don't see us. Never mind. Hey, so you think peeking in people's rooms is a good taste? Is in good taste? Um. Yes. I've been doing it since Generation 1. Just walking into people's houses and doing whatever I want. So yeah, I do. I do think I can do that. I am the champion to be. So don't tempt me. 
to do things to get yeah, words. Stop. Stop trying to rhyme. I'm not. I'm not a Team Skull member. Stop trying to rhyme, and stop embarrassing yourself. Go for the pluck. It's, we have pretty low HP, but this thing cannot two shot us in any way, shape, or form. And there you go. Fermentus is down. What was the point of that battle, man? You're not protecting your room very well, dude. You might as well just quit your job at Team Skull and work somewhere else. What, what is this item going to be? Please be something helpful. An iron. Useless. Alright. Let's carry on. I think we should go properly heal up now. We'll go do that. Uh, there's no point waiting any longer. We're not going to go and clear out every single person and then and then battle. Uh, we need to keep all the potions we have remaining because it's just super important. Uh, which side do we actually get through here? I think it's on this side. Yes, it is on this side. We have to walk up this tiny bit of fencing here. And can we make it straight to the Pokemon Center? I think we can not do that. Wow, okay. Sad face. Such a long trek back, guys. Such a long trek back. Uh, but we have made it here. And we're going to have to pay another... 10 monies. I'm just, I, I think I can still heal up any other time I want. If I'm not mistaken, I can heal up again. Yo, 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 yo. Yes, sounds good, yo. And we Gucci. We should be full health now. There we go. That's the sound we want to hear. Let's carry on. Let's make our way back. We have about 10 minutes left to just make the finest things happen. We might have to end it off right before Guzma. Um, we'll see how we go there. I don't want to, but these battles have been taking a lot longer than I have desired, uh, which is quite unfortunate. We're making we're making progress, though. We're getting through the, the Shady House. The Shady House is is one hell of an episode right now, guys. We've spent the entire time inside here. Uh, if we can sneakily get past the guy who's left, walking left and right there, you just saw his head. We can... You don't see me? Yo, that was talent. Greetings, visitor. If you wish to meet with Guzma, then you have to give the, the three secret passwords. Yes, I have them all. What could it be? Beat up. He literally says beat him, beat him down, and beat him down all the time. Uh, Galissapod is his favorite Pokemon. And he likes Tapu Koko. But not the totem Pokemon. The drink. I am sure about that. No. There you go. We were a bona fide bonehead. Is that what he said? That's really offensive to me. So, uh... Disrespect. Now, we walk through here. Can we can we avoid this Team Skull Grunt Lady? Because we don't want to battle her either. Yo, it looks like we're making our way through. We are making our way through right now. No more battles to be had. I think we should lead up with, um... Mm. No, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We are fine and dandy. Let's hop inside. Oliver, take the reins. You guys aren't going to battle me, right? You're going to let me walk through? Thank you very much. How kind of you. Yo, it's Guzma. We finally get to voice him once again. After last time where the episode decided to just not happen. The hated boss who beats you down and beats you down and never lets up. Yeah, Big Bad Guzma is here. I really don't get you, kid. But at least this is a change of pace. It's not every day someone comes straight to me for a beating. I'm not here for you. No bone to pick with me, huh? Then it's for Young Goose, I guess. How sweet of you to help out that sad little girl. <laughs> there it is. It looks so angry, like it's not. it doesn't want to team up with me or be, be helped by me. And you came all this way just for that, huh? Can't you just watch out for your own Pokemon and stay out of other people's business? You're one messed up kid. You want to know what I do when some machine messes up? The first thing I do is give it a nice hard smack. I mean, most of the time I smash it to pieces, but hey, what can you do? Now let's see if I can fix you. Guzma is threatening us. Which means we have to put him and his Pokemon in the ground. Ladies and gentlemen, Guzma is here, ready to get destroyed with only two Pokemon. I mean, I like Guzma's music, but the crackling kind of bugs me. Like the crackling and sound effect, which is meant to be, it's, it's part of the song. But I don't like it. Aller is here, Oliver is here against Galissapod. We'll go for the pluck, it should do a good amount of damage. That's enough for me. It goes for Swords Dance, which is actually really good for us and really stupid for um, for Guzma because once we hit him again, Emergency Exit will activate and he will actually be forced to switch out, losing his plus one, a plus two rather. Very, very stupid play on Guzma's part, um, but what are you going to do? Ariados comes out here, that's cool. I think we can just keep going for a pluck. 
Uh, Spirit Shackle is neutral though, so I think we'll go for the Spirit Shackle. It should do more damage because it is stab and doubled. Just like, ooh, Sucker Punch. Ooh, Sucker Punch. All right, let's see. We go for the Spirit Shackle. This should one-shot. I can't imagine a universe where it doesn't one-shot, but that, that Sucker Punch did a lot of damage. If that was stab, that could have been really dangerous. Sinister Arrow Ray. Let's go. This animation, dude, I, I, I can never get over it. It's such an amazing animation. Such an amazing animation. And that is a one-shot. I'll admit, it's really, it's really concerning how slow the HP drops with that move, but it drops. At least it does drop. Uh, we'll switch into fish, my boy. Yeah. We're going to fish. And we can go for the uh, rock slide. It's probably going to go for first impression. So we should be all fine and dandy. Um, I really need the rock slide not to miss, actually. Because that could be dangerous if it does miss. It doesn't miss. And he doesn't even go for first impression either. And rock slide will take out Glitterpod. So we managed to clear Guzma with no trouble at all. The second punch was a bit scary, but still very little trouble. In fact, we have a lot of time left in the episode. We probably could have gone out and actually... Uh, uh, battle those other two Pokemon that we uh, two Pokemon two trainers that we skipped. Either way, yeah, yeah, I gotta admit that was great. Forty three twenty. We making money today. My lips are real dry, guys. Guzman, what's wrong with you? Yo, give the Pokemon back to the kid now. Yeah, we did it. We saved Young Goose, and he just runs away. Tch. Run away. You better run away. You better run away. I'm going to beat you down one of these days. No matter whose help, I need to do it. Bye, Guzma. Allow me to take over your little palace. And guys, 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 guys. Don't forget to grab your Buginium Z. Very important stuff. By the way, this is a fun thing you can do that you guys may not have noticed. You can sit in the chair. And a team scumbag comes in and he's like, yo, excuse me, B. He's so confused. Uh, but, you're not the boss? What's the deal, homie? You're not the boss of me. Huh. That's it. It's like, it's like this little encounter that you can in, uh, initiate by getting on the chair. I thought it was pretty funny. I'm not going to sleep on that bed. That's disgusting. It looks dirty. Dirty as all hell. We can't even go down that way. That's kind of sad. We have to go all the way outside the building once again. Those windows are broken, guys. You can see the, the glass on the floor. Like I said, the amount of detail in this area is phenomenal. I love it. It's so good. It's just absolute perfection. The Shady House and Po Town. Flawless design. Either way, we're going to have a small little uh, chat with um, old mate Manu here. Let's see what's going to happen. Have I got you to thank for this? It looks so angry like it hates us. Thing must have been scared half to death. If it's glad to see me, a wretch like me. Look at my face. Look how happy I am. What a lot of hassle. A trial goer, huh? Figures. Look, I'm not going to fight someone who is taking on Team Skull. I healed your Pokemon up, so just go. You did? Now you did. Looking blah, looking through blah, blah, blah. It seems like there are fewer Team Skull folks around than usual. I guess some of them might have run off after seeing their boss get beat. Uncle Nanu! And here comes the noise again. Oh, I am so sorry. You must have been so scared, huh? Thanks, chum. Really, you're really something. Uncle, you're a great police officer, aren't you? I really hope that you're keeping a good eye on things here. What else do you stay here for if you're not putting a stop to Team Skull's shenanigans? The rent's real cheap. No one's crazy enough to stay this close to Team Skull after all. That's what you say, but it, but it's really all for the Pokemon, isn't it? You could depend on the Ether Foundation to look after the Pokemon that Team Skull hurts, but you stay here to look after them, huh? Come on, Young Goose, let's get back to the Ether House. Let's go. I do. Things are about to pop off. I just, I just realized what we're about to get into. I'm excited. Either way, I'll come back to see you again soon, Uncle. No one's asking you to. I love how he like despises her, but she still. Like, she still loves him. It's so great. Then come by the Ether House when you're done. Alola. 
I love how she runs too, it's really funny. I know I said that already, but still. Pokemon tucked up in their Pokeballs. Team Scott locked up in their little town. I wonder if either enjoys the experience. I mean, my Pokemon. My Pokemon love me. They get to have a party into their Pokeball every single day. Either way, guys, let's uh, let's just run down the street as we end up the episodes. We're gonna because we're gonna call it here. I want to end it off outside Po Town though, just because I can. Why not? And we just want to have a, one final look around this beautiful, well done, just amazingly detailed town that is run over by the enemies. It's so phenomenal, Pokemon Company. I could not be more impressed. Um, is this barricade gonna be broken? It is. I could have just run straight down the entire time. I had no idea. I'm a fool. Either way. Let's hop outside Po Town and let's end off this episode. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. And of course, if you guys want to see more episodes from this series as they come out, make sure you hit that subscribe button also. And finally, I want to thank you all for watching. And until next time, I hope you have a wonderful day.